Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to my live feed. Let's get my camera going here. I'm gonna try to get some Champion's Path opened up today. There we go. Look at that beauty. Awesome. I like it. A lot of this is probably going to be viewed after my live break, but I'd rather go live because sometimes my friends hop on and we just chill and have some fun. Alright, so here's the deal. I went to Myers and I got this Champion's Path set. It comes with four Champion's Path boxes, a promo card, and a handling card. And I also managed to get a Marnie set. So I figured what better time to use my Marnie set or Marnie Mac than when opening up Champion's Path. So I'm gonna do one box today. It's gonna be a short opening, but this way you guys can kind of get an idea what we're looking for. I'm looking for the shiny Charizard V. Now to kind of give you a reference of what we're looking for, if you haven't seen it before, shiny Charizard V is pretty much this guy just in like black red and gray so this is definitely something that I want to get um, I told myself I wouldn't get any more champions path but when I saw it I could not resist so I said sure why not let's get into some champions path so without a further ado let's get started let's get cracked it open on this uh, champions path set here we got the Hatterene B set um, this is this set and the Marnie set were literally all that they had that I couldn't really do anything else But we're here just to let loose. It's been a long day at work um, You know wind down a little bit it's been crazy my cats are in the back trying to sleep, but that's okay I'll let the hair down the hats too tight sometimes All right, let's get into it So I actually got these on sale. Um, it was you buy one at regular price, you get the cheapest one free or at equal price, 50% off. So I said, what the heck? It's Champion's Path and a lot of people are scalping these. So this might be my only chance to uh, to get some Champion's Path set here. Let's take a look at the, what comes in the box here. Trying to get some more, uh, some more stuff to open up on the channel. Hopefully, I can get some more, uh, more views, some more subscribers, and um, really s spread the love. So we get a code card, we get a Hatterim promo card. Let's leave this bad boy out. Hatterim V. Let's take a closer look here. So it looks like a really good, really good card overall. Let me if I can focus here. Sorry. Good call card overall. I like the the matte on the bottom, the matte purple. All right, we'll put that to the side for right now. Put it over here, just so you can see. Well, I'll pull up the hits here of uh, what we get and the Hatterene V. Jumbo card. Personally, don't know. It's kind of sad though. It's got a defect here. I don't know if it's from packaging or um, centering's off. Definitely centering is off. If you don't know if I'll, I'll send this in for grading, probably not. Probably not anytime soon. That is. All right. Let's take a look at what we got. We'll set this right up here. So here we've got a. A creamy V Max. We've got a Dreadnought V Max. We've got an Obstagoon V, and another Dreadnought. Let's see what we can get, and hopefully I can get something good. Um, like again, we're shooting for the Char shiny Charizard V, so we want 
the other, the alternate version of this card. Um, I'm really excited because they just started announcing and showing uh, the shiny, um, the shiny Star V, and those are really, really beautiful. Um, and right now, everybody's freaking about, freaking out about the shiny Star V Max Charizard, and it is just phenomenally made. I was showing one of my one of my coworkers today uh, some of the things that they have going on, um, but definitely, definitely something that I'm going to look into getting into. Excuse me while I uh, reply to a message. It's kind of urgent. But not bad at all. So, if all goes well, and maybe we get something out of here, or maybe we get something out of the morning box. I don't know if I want to open up the morning box tonight, or just do a quick break for uh, what I have here. I'm just going to chill out, relax. Have a good time. Have a good time. Alright. So, I think I'm going to start with the Al Creamy. Whoa. I think these have all been resealed. I don't know. I'm a little concerned now, but I hope I didn't just buy some resealed packs. I just hope the quality control wasn't as good. All right, let's, I guess, let's jump into it. There's no code card. Okay, so that's really weird. All of these didn't have a code card. Um, which is strange. Like, I, I genuinely feel like they were resealed. 
the glue on these is terrible. Got one code card. Okay, so it's the code card is for the right for the right thing. Um, I just went and opened them all to see what we got. So we got Vulpix, Rockruff, Scraggy, Zigzagoon, Kakuna. We got Hatterene V or Hatterene, sorry. We have Darkness Energy, Malamar, Hattern, Linoon, Victini, Vulpix, Potion, Kakuna, Weedle. We got Kabu for Reverse Hollow and a Scorch Hollow. Hop. Pokemon Center Lady, Suspicious Food Tin, Machop, Pokeball, Machop again, Rock Rolly, Potion, and Altaria. I. This sucks. I, I genuinely feel like I bought a resealed pack from, from Myers. I mean, I'm, at the same time, I'm glad I only paid like $11, but still, it's. Oh man, it just gets worse and worse out there. Bought a resealed pack. Now, it makes me concerned about the Marnie. Because it doesn't look like it was resealed. But at the same time, it could be. We're just going to go in. Something about the glue isn't right. So we got our Grimmsnarl promo card. We got our more Peko pin and our Grimmsnarl pin. We got our wonderful mat here. Just set that there. Look at this. Look at that. This is resealed. I mean, it's gotta be. Torn right there. There's a tear there. If you can see it on camera there. Look at that. I don't know. What do you think? Do I open it? If you open it, you can't return it. It's like
like, look at this. This is... This, I, I just got this. Yeah, I know, man. How you doing, Nolan? There's... I mean, just looking at the box, it doesn't look like... probably gonna try and return both look at that so here's the factory glue it's kind of kind of like a tint here's this is hot glue <sighs> I guess one way I'm gonna know <sighs> if it was resealed is if I open one pack sucks like this I'm used to I don't know if you could see that but that I'm used to this this is not normal like look at that look at that tear I don't know if you can quite see that on camera but there's like separation of the foil It's a good thing I still got my receipt. Yeah. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, it's a good thing I opened it on live stream so I can show them that, uh, what was going on. I'm gonna see if I can get my money back for the other packs, too, because, I mean, they were all resealed. They didn't have any code cards. They're supposed to have a code card, one of these code cards in each pack. And in each pack that I opened up, definitely nothing. So whoever bought it, opened it, resealed it, took the code cards... Man, that sucks. Oh, well, so much for Charizard hunting. That's all right. That just blows chunks. Blows nothing but chunks. It's just crazy that, like, somebody would do this for a Charizard. Like, I didn't even get the fun of opening it. Like, this one, come to think of it, the code card didn't even come behind the Morpeko or the Grimstone. Are you this is supposed to come with two code cards? I mean, yeah, dude, definitely let me know. I'm definitely looking to get some. I mean, I was... Man, this is a bust. People suck. They definitely make things harder. Well, now I'm definitely going to return. I'm going to see if they'll return the others. Because... I spent... I spent good money on these Pokemon cards here. That 
sucks. That really does suck. You know what? I'll keep. I'll keep the one that I that I already opened up. I don't think that's fair. But I'm definitely gonna return the the Marnie box because that's fifty dollars. That is definitely fifty dollars that I need to get back. Should have like even this one. It's got a tear there. Well, there you go, my plans for the evening. No more Charizard hunting. Guess that's what I get for trying to to find something to stream about every night. Just trying to get traction, trying to build up, trying to make, uh, have fun, you know? I even bust out the nice morning mat so this way I can pull stuff. Mm. You know what? I do have some cards I want to look at. And even though I can't open up packs, I mean, this is, this is what I've got right now. But this is what we'll do. We'll look at these cards here. So these cards we got at work. And we've been buying Pokemon cards and we buy bulk. So I get me a little pick up some cards. And I genuinely love the artwork on some of these. Like I've been really getting into the retro cards here. So we can start here. So we've got... Magnemite. Got a bunch of them. Now the condition on these is they're lightly played. Some of them are moderately played. Some of them are heavily played. Got some gym gym trainers. Messi's Poliwhirl. Or gym leader, sorry. Pardon me. Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Sabrina Slowpoke. Sabrina Slowbro. The artwork on these are amazing too. Sabrina's Abro. Sabrina's Drowsy. Sabrina's Hunter. I hear getting a hollow of one of these is really nice. I personally love Gengar. Um, so obviously I need Hunter and Ghastly to get to him. Got another slow bro here. And obviously the whole reason of getting duplicates is to have multiple conditions of them. I personally like having a bunch because, I mean, it gives me trading options as well. Um, from the Team Rocket packs, these are really, really neat. I did just trade off a uh, first edition Charmander uh, to someone in New York. That was pretty cool. It's nice that she's able to collect that. Here's a Ladybug from Neo Genesis. A Shuckle. From Neo Genesis. Now this one, I genuinely like the artwork. I know Jack has one. I was able to find Jack out of Dark Muck, but the this one's pretty cool. Got Giovanni's Meowth. Dark Persian. If you wanted to evolve Geo or the, the Meowth from Team Rocket set or Meowth in general, it's crazy how very little. Um, these cards did and this is considered an uncommon so this would be in the uncommon spot Whereas this would be like a common Pokemon. You can get a lot of it. Um, you can tell by the different symbols on the bottom And Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite would be considered an uncommon We got Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu 
This is generally one of my favorite artworks as well. We've got a secret Magnemite. There's a few of these secret cards here. I love this little guy. We've got a secret Weevil. Here, let me turn the light down here. There you go, you can see a little better. Lucario. So this one I definitely picked up for the sole purpose of how the background looks. Just amazing, amazing design. I just love how bold the artwork is. And lastly, a Stoutland secret card. Well, there wasn't much of a live break, but I mean, I got some cards. Sucks that they were resealed. Um, definitely gonna have to go back to Myers for that one. I guess I'll just show them this, but hopefully they're able to do something for me. Um, this was literally the only one that they had, and I jumped on it because it was. It was something that I wanted to, to pursue, the uh, the shiny Charizard. You know, and I kept telling myself, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You should stay with Sword and Shield. Um, or just save up for Vivid Voltage. But I said, you know what, I'm going to try it. Something telling, something's telling me. And here we go. I got a bunch of resealed packs. Big oof. That's all right. I'll figure out in the morning what's going on. I'll keep you guys updated and, uh, and let you know what happens. Um, if I get stuck with it, I might just sell the mat. The cards that are there, it's probably not going to be worth much. It's definitely not going to be $50 worth, but it'll be worth a shot. Hopefully one day I can, uh, can come back from that. I mean, if anything, I still did get this cool V card. I personally have been wanting to get this. I mean, even though this is... Um, these all they're all from the same set so this person must have opened up this pack and didn't like it and resealed it i just don't want to do that with this one this next one um I, that's why i didn't open them so i guess we'll find out later i appreciate you guys coming to my channel and uh definitely hit the like button kind of sucks or dislike kind of sucks that this was uh resealed but oh well it is what it is life continues and we're just going to keep going. Tomorrow is another day. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll have time to go to Top Cut and pick up a booster box. If I pick up a booster box, then we'll do another opening. But until then, you guys have a wonderful night. Enjoy your night. And uh, sleep well. Peace.